cannons were long the primary anti-aircraft weapon for most nations. Reliable, inexpensive, and lethal, they formed defensive belts where the penetration by enemy aircraft resulted in heavy losses. Technological evolution, however, began to push cannons towards obsolescence. On one hand, aircraft began flying higher and faster, while on the other hand, the proliferation of guided munitions enabled attacks from increasingly longer distances, leading to the supremacy of medium and long-range anti-aircraft systems. These high-performance missile-based systems replaced anti-aircraft cannons, but a large-scale conflict quickly revealed an unpleasant reality. Using expensive missiles, some costing over $3 million per unit, to intercept drones and other low-cost guided munitions is impractical in the long term. As a consequence of this reality, cannons are now re-emerging as a low-cost weapon for the role of CPGM, an acronym that stands for Counter-Precision Guided Ammunition, and the Tridon MK2 is an example of this change in mentality. The Tridon MK2 is a 40mm self-propelled anti-aircraft cannon. The MK2 in its name indicates it is the second generation of the Tridon system, which emerged in the 1990s as a proposal for a self-propelled anti-aircraft system. The original Tridon was a rather rudimentary system, essentially mounting a standard Bofors L-70 cannon with an open, crude turret on an off-road truck, but this system was never adopted. The Tridon MK2, in contrast, is based on the naval Bofors MK4 cannon. Key differences from the original Tridon include an unmanned turret, the exchange of hydraulic movement systems for electric systems, changes in reloading systems, and an increase in the number of carried munitions. This cannon can fire 300 rounds per minute, equivalent to 5 shots per second. Internally, the turret carries 100 munitions, with 30 ready for immediate use and another 70 in an automatic reloading system. Above the Tridon MK2's turret is its fire control system, consisting of a thermal imager and a distance measuring laser. This system effectively guides the weapon, ensuring that each cannon within a section or battery can intercept a different target, providing a highly versatile multi-target capability. For example, for cannons receiving an alert from a search radar and coordinated by a command post could intercept four different targets approaching from different directions simultaneously. The effective range against aerial targets can approach 5 kilometers, and against surface targets in direct fire, it is limited by line of sight. However, the greatest asset of this weapon is its so-called 3P ammunition, which is a programmable ammunition capable of fulfilling a variety of missions, with anti-aircraft defense being the most classic. This ammunition includes a proximity fuse that triggers an internal explosive charge even if it does not directly hit targets. The fuse is sensitive enough to activate within about 5 meters of small targets and up to 10 meters from larger targets. When the ammunition explodes, over a thousand tungsten fragments are released in all directions, covering a large area and destroying everything around it. In practice, a drone stands no chance against this. Nevertheless, this weapon is not limited to use against drones. It can also intercept manned aircraft such as planes and helicopters, cruise missiles, and even guided bombs. It is estimated that up to 10 shots of 3P ammunition are needed to eliminate an aerial target. This means that one Tridon MK2, with its 100 internal munitions, could intercept up to 10 targets sequentially before needing to reload. In addition to anti-aircraft defense, the 3P ammunition preserves its anti-surface capability with a specific armor-piercing mode, sufficient to destroy any armored vehicle that is not a main battle tank. It also features a time-delayed explosion mode, where the fire control system calculates the exact distance at which the ammunition should detonate, highly effective against infantry, even when sheltered in trenches or behind obstacles. All this capability is delivered by a single type of ammunition. By comparison, to fulfill the same missions, a 30mm cannon would require at least three different types of ammunition. Obviously, 
a cannon-based anti-aircraft system does not negate the need for medium or long-range systems. However, a system like the Tridon Mk2 can address the vast majority of targets at a much more affordable price than high-performance missile-based systems. If a Tridon Mk2 can intercept targets such as drones and cruise missiles at the cost of a few thousand dollars, doing the same with a system like the Patriot could easily cost tens of millions of dollars, depending on the missile model and the number of targets intercepted. The Tridon Mk2 is an example of adaptation driven by warfare. Just as offensive systems have evolved, Defensive systems must also evolve to handle threats in the most efficient and economical manner possible. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.